Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Burlington Buzz. I'm your host, Charlotte Hancocks, and today we'll be talking about the music scene in Burlington. Reporter Claire will be speaking with members of Songwriters Circle. This is a UVM club that shares music that members make and offers skill strengthening workshops. Let's see what they have to say. Awesome. Thank you so much, Charlotte. This is Burlington Buzz and Catamounts on a Street on the Street from a different location today. I am in UVM's library with the awesome members of the Songwriter Circle. Hello, everyone. How are you? It's awesome to be here with you today. So first, I'm going to ask you, could you all go around and say your names and a little introduction to yourselves? Who wants to start? I can start. Awesome. Awesome. Hi, everyone. I'm Kaya Ellis. Um, what were the things? Just where you're from. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm from Northern Virginia. Um, I am a music tech and business major. In regards to the club, I kind of just do things awesome. around. I, it doesn't, nothing specifically, just when something's asked of me by Ashna, usually I'm like, okay, I got you and I'm going to do it. Um, in regards to like awesome. music? Yes, yes. Right. I'm gonna ask that question in a second. Later. Set, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, okay. Right. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. My name's Macklin, and I am in my last semester here hey. at UVM. Uh, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, Towson, Maryland, if you know. If, you're from if you know. <laughs> Shout out to Towson. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm the secretary at Summer awesome. Circle. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Also known as the forms guy. The, the forms, forms guy. guy. Yeah. Good That's to know. mostly what. Yeah. <laughs> um, my name's Ashna. I'm a senior here at UVM. Um, I'm studying gender studies, and um, my minor is music tech and business. Awesome. And I'm the president of Songwriter Circle. Good. Good. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Last but not least, Hannah. My name is Hannah. I do some social media stuff for Songwriter Circle, and I make some of our posters for yes. like open mics and stuff. And I'm a junior, and I'm from Long Island, New York. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, it's nice to meet all of you officially, and obviously you are all members of the Songwriter Circle, so I assume you might like some music. I maybe I don't know. Um, <laughs> Um, no, so what would you, no, not at all, not at all. Um, so what would you say are a couple of your musical inspirations that have led you to the path you're on now? Sure, I'll go first. Um, I would say one of my biggest musical inspirations as of the past, I guess, like two to three years has been Indigo to Souza. I feel like her her songwriting style, just the way that she's so raw and real in her music mm -hmm. and very haunting in her sound is just something that like I really appreciate and try to incorporate in my songwriting. Um, just in general though, I love like everything. I mean, I go between like alternative rock and mm -hmm. like hardcore stuff and then like jazz. Awesome. So it's like, you know, cool. just a fusion awesome. of all types cool. of stuff. I, my favorite artist for like the last four or five years has been Elliot Smith. I've yes. been like super heavily into Elliot Smith. Um, but I've always listened to a bunch of different genres. My parents have a super eclectic music taste. Um, a lot of 90s, like uh, Pavement, Radiohead, Unwound, stuff like that. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome, cool. I would say, I've, and I've been streaming her a lot recently because it's very like fall vibes, but like early Phoebe Bridgers, um, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, also, some of Maggie Rogers' earlier stuff yes. is like a huge point of inspiration for me. Cool. Um, I also love Claro. Yeah. And that's all I can think okay. of right now. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I draw a lot of inspiration from like folk music. Uh -huh. like, I love Nick Drake. Um, I like a lot of Elliot Smith music. Yes. Um, yeah, just like Adrian Lanker. Uh, awesome. Stuff like that. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> in my personal playing, I'm big into jazz. So a lot of like. Coltrane and Herbie Hancock. Nice. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, um, my next question is more pertaining to songwriter circles. So I understand that this is a relatively new club. Could you talk about the process of starting a club here and how did songwriter circle come about? Yeah, I can talk about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. um, so I founded the club um, when I arrived to UVM. I'm a transfer student and I came here my sophomore year. Awesome. Um, and it was a club that I was a part of back at my old university in Seattle. Um, and it was just like an incredible community that really helped me have a home at such a big university. Um, 
and it was also such a great resource for myself mm-hmm. as a songwriter so um I knew when I found out there wasn't something like that here and like so many musicians I was like yeah we've got to have something <laughs> right. like this yeah. come, on. come on it just makes <laughs> sense <Yeah. laughs> um so yeah I it took a while you know and mm-hmm. I I had some people mm-hmm. that really helped me out in the beginning and like like these guys at least have been in it pretty much since the beginning mm-hmm. um and so it's been really special to like see it grow and mm-hmm. um, and also just like see people, you know, develop their songwriting. Um, yeah, so it's been really special. Definitely a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah. yeah, lots of work. Mm-hmm. Ashna does so much for the club. Like, oh. Definitely awesome. the heart and soul of that club. Thank you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, how many members do you your club have? It really it's hard fluctuates to say. a lot. It's okay. We've had like a lot in the beginning of the semester. It gets like kind of crazy because mm-hmm. there's a lot of new freshmen and everything. Right. So we can have like memes of like sixty, oh. but then it like hovers are in the thirties, okay. maybe twenties, thirties. Nice, yeah. nice. And would you walk me through like your general meeting? What happens? That's another great thing. Is they're so like diverse. We have okay, so many cool. different types of cool. meetings. So like one of the main types of meetings we do is like songwriting challenges oh, where we fun. yeah they're, they're super like fun activities where we like we get into groups and there's usually a prompt or some sort of like a picture prompt or like a um, should we give some prompt? of our favorite examples yeah give yeah. some examples yeah. please yeah the penguin <laughs> there was oh, yes. there was a picture. It was a fish theme for the um, first wait, the meeting. Clarify meeting. fish with a P H. No, no, no. Okay, okay. No, like aquarium. Oh, okay. Aquarium. Fish. Okay, okay. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. So it was an aquarium, and then there was a lowly, lowly, lonely, lonely. Uh, both, 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 lonely oh, and a lowly okay, okay. penguin in the corner. Mm-hmm. And so it was like, okay, this is your inspo song, and so many people. Um, really got into the, the shoes oh. of the penguin and were God, like, awesome. I'm on the outside of the glass <laughs> looking in, you know, like that sort of stuff. There was like a rap one. There oh, was. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And somebody had a trumpet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, cool. wow. Yeah, really that sounds yeah. awesome. Cool. So in your meetings, it's a songwriter circle. So are you having instruments there or like what generally like, I'm like very in the dark. I've never been to a meeting, so. Yeah. Yeah, well, first, you should come to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, we welcome, like, any instruments. Like they mentioned before, we have one trumpet player, which has been really awesome. Cool. But a lot of people bring their guitars. Sometimes, like, what is that box you sit on? Oh, cajon. cajon. Yeah, cajon. Oh. Um, but, yeah, we would welcome, like, anything. It's just cool. easiest to have, like, acoustic guitars. Okay, awesome. Also, some people come to the club, like, not knowing how to play an instrument mm-hmm. and like are hoping to help acquire some skills within the club. Got yeah. you. Okay, okay. And I know that there's also like the UVM record producing label. Do you guys work with them at all or like how is that partnership linked? Yes. Um, so I'm also a part of Real Records. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I do like outreach and sponsorship for them. Um, Real Love Records is a bit more I guess music industry focused okay. um, and like catered towards students who are really um, like set on having careers in the music industry. Mm-hmm. Um, so for that reason, it's a bit more, um, I guess, bus- businessy like, and just like trying to help students get some undergraduate experience. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, we do like master classes with, we cool. bring in different experts like music venue owners or like producers or people who work in marketing. Um, and yeah, they're very similar spaces. Got gotcha. Because they have similar draws, we often collaborate. Um, like all of our open mics, we host with alongside Real Love cool, Records. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna ask a little more about like the UVM music culture. So I heard you mention Trinity. I know there's definitely a lot of like Trinity pipeline stuff that goes yes. into music. Um, could you talk a little bit about that culture and what's that like? If any of you lived on Trinity, I lived on Trinity, <laughs> and it was the best thing ever. Everyone who like doesn't like Trinity isn't from Trinity. So yeah, um, but definitely. I mean, it's the arts and creativity learning Mm -hmm. community. So, like, everyone there, for the Mm. most part, if you picked it, if you didn't pick it, I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, But most everybody there is some kind of artist, loves art, music. You know, every single dorm has people playing in it. There's a practice room in Macaulay, or no, in Mercy. Yeah. Yeah. In Mercy. Um, And yeah, a lot of the student bands come out of Trinity. Mm 
that like play around Burlington, that play on campus, and it's just it's just super fun to see happen mm -hmm. and be a part of. I was a part of a student band here at UVM, um, and just like how much that entire scene has grown yeah. is so awesome. Mm -hmm. And I recommend if you're looking to be in a band and you don't live on Trinity, go to Trinity. Like yeah. you will find musicians that mm -hmm. want to collaborate, want to work with you. Yeah. If not in Trinity, go to the music building, which is on Redstone, mm -hmm. um, and also come to Songwriter Circle. Like people yeah. love collaboration mm -hmm. in this music scene, which is like something that you don't necessarily get in a lot of other music communities, mm -hmm. yeah. especially in like big cities like right. New York or like Nashville or anything like that like I feel like the Burlington music scene in mm -hmm. and of itself is just so collaborative and people just really want to lift each other up and mm -hmm. work with each other and so that's just like a super cool thing awesome. to be a part of. I would say our biggest goal is to create a community and like mm -hmm. a gathering space because um, right. I think that's the hardest thing to find is like okay where can I go to meet mm -hmm. other musicians. Um, the second one I think would be to provide resources for people who come to the club and like skills to be right. able to help people in whatever way they want because yeah. not everybody's coming to the club looking for the same mm -hmm. thing not everybody is a songwriter coming to the club like some right. people are looking to learn what that even means yeah. um, and I would say the third the third goal is looking outwards and like that's manifested through our open mics and yeah. various community events that we put on um, like karaoke band, yep, yeah. live band karaoke. Um, basically last year we're gonna do it again but we had this live band karaoke night where we had a bunch okay, of student bands fun. like come in and like play pretty common covers um, and people could like sign up and and sing with bands but it was a fundraiser to raise money for the M mercy practice room um, so yeah I, th I think it's taking that kind of community outlook and being like, okay, there are needs in our community, mm -hmm. how can we address them? But, yeah. you know, outside of addressing the people right. in the club as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, awesome. My last question, which has already kind of been answered, has music and this club helped you build community at UVM? Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Was it has or how? Like how, well, has it, I'm assuming, yeah. yes, from what you guys have said, but how, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for me personally, like, it w it's been amazing for a community. Like, I basically yeah. found, I found it in my second year here as a sophomore, mm -hmm. and like, most of my friends today are all from Songwriter hey. Circle, and <laughs> like, most of the, the week, like, things on weekends, like going out to people's shows, mm -hmm. or like going to the open mics, like, yeah. a lot of social life revolves around songwriter circle yeah. and that's why I think it is like perfect for building the community and mm -hmm. we're definitely achieving that goal which is great awesome. yeah, yeah I, th I think it was like a really helpful thing for mm -hmm. myself like when I came to you because yeah. I basically just like made a club and then everybody became my friend yeah. <laughs> and it was awesome, yeah. that is awesome. Um, and I like you know there are people that I saw in the community. I was like, "You should come to South. You should come to South yeah. yeah. Like I was like, "You should come." Like hired me. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so through, but also it's through this like joint thing that we love that we would be friends anyways. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. No, I don't think that. so. It's definitely no. because of Songwriter Circle. Like, yeah. yeah. Songwriter Circle is the only reason why I'm friends with any of you guys. Yeah. 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 Gosh, awesome. <laughs> okay, before we go, are there any shows, music releasing that you want to shout out for our viewers? This is a public forum, so say yeah. whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, plug your bands, any music. <laughs> November 1st. Um, I don't know if you guys know Kate Cush and DJ New Mantra. Yes. But uh, I've been working with them on a pretty awesome song. Awesome. So be on the lookout for that. Awesome. awesome. Yep. Yeah. And Kate Cush is also having a show. Cushy Nights, yeah, Radio Bean, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Halloween ones. Yeah. Yes. Very fun. Trick, Trick or, or treat. treat. <laughs> October 30th. 30th. Yeah. At 7. At 7 PM. at Radio Bean. Yeah. Okay, it's and we're going to be playing Alex G, <laughs> yes. is that correct? It's going to be an Alex G night with me, Ashna, and Spencer, if anyone knows Spencer. Okay, <laughs> Spencer. Okay. Spencer Bellet. It's actually Bellet. Bellet. It's Bellet. Oh. Oh. Spencer Bellet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Spencer Super Bellet. Great. Super Super great. Shout out to alum. Spencer. Yeah. Oh, an alum. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I, uh, I'm gonna, yeah. 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 I'm gonna come up with the EP like next early next year, oh God, which I'm really excited about. 
Um, my name's Macklin. I already said that. Mm-hmm. So it ho- it'll be under that. Is it under and Macklin Roberts? <laughs> under Macklin Roberts. Macklin yeah. Roberts. Right. I'm going to cry too. Oh. Macklin the Roberts is so. That Macklin played an original in the club, I like. Because <laughs> oh. it, it took like a year or something. Yeah. Which I, is okay. Yeah, <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with like, writing. Oh. But Summer Circle helped, so yeah. Awesome. Macklin's lyrics are so beautiful. Yeah. And Thank you. Yeah. Definitely pull on your heartstrings oh, and then also stab you as well. Wait, I can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so, so excited. So, so excited. Oh so my god, awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Any other music? Um, I'm not releasing anything soon, but I'm in a band called yeah. Hissy Fit. And Hissy Fit. we're playing WRUV um, November 20th. Awesome. So tune in. Check that out. Cool. Six to eight. Cool. Yeah. And Hannah, you're in like 10 bands, so. <laughs> soon to yeah. be 11. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Swampy Tonk on Instagram. Swampy Tonk. Okay. We're all gonna play some um, hockey tonk. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna play at so, Honky Tonk? Yeah. Oh, and oh. Canadian Tux. Yeah. Oh my God. Canadian With Spencer Tux. With Spencer Bennett. Harry. Oh. Harry Donovan. Not here. Oh my God. Are you gonna release something soon? Oh my yeah. God, awesome. Wow, there's so much content being produced by your club. This is so, yeah, so yeah. awesome. Um, mm-hmm. I hope our viewers check it out. Do you guys have any questions for me? Anything you want to say to the camera while we have it? Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. 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 The meetings are Tuesdays. Yep. 7 p.m. in Terrell 308. And the open mics? The open mics are every other Wednesday at 7.15 in either Macaulay Great Room or maybe it'll be at Radio Bean. Okay. Yeah. Next week we have an open mic at Macaulay in, at 7.15. Okay. And on if Wednesday. you want any of these updates, you can follow Songwriter yeah. Circle oh, on Instagram. Instagram and you will be up to date. You don't have to remember it straight from this thing. Okay. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Back to you in the studio, Charlotte. Pure Pop Records, a record store on Church Street, offers a variety of music. Our reporters, Julia and Claire, are on site doing a music highlight. Awesome, thank you so much, Charlotte. Today I'm on the street, but not on UVM's campus. I'm actually on South Winooski Ave, right above Pure Pop Records, which has been Burlington's premier record store since 1980 and is a staple in the Burlington music community. Let's head downstairs and I'll show you around. All right, awesome, so I am down the stairs and I'm gonna just show you around the different sections that Pure Pop has to offer, come with me. All right, so over here we have the lot of rock CDs, mixed, used, and new. We also have a bunch of used CDs over here. We have a new release wall. You can see a bunch of CDs over here. And then this is where our vinyl collections start. This is our used section. And then we start jumping into the new. We have anything from punk to classic rock. And then a section specifically focused in Burlington is our local section over here. And definitely our biggest artist in this section is gonna be Noah Khan. Um, and then if you head over to that side of the store, we have all things country, bluegrass, and just regular rock. So now I'm gonna talk to some of the lovely Pure Pop employees about what it's like to work here in the Burlington music scene. All right. So first I'm here with the lovely Alex. Hi Alex, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. So obviously you are a Pure Pop employee, so how long have you been working here? Also just give us a brief introduction about yourself. Um, My name is Alex. I'm a junior at UVM, go Cats. Um, I also work with Claire, lovely Claire. Um, I am from California. I'm a PCOM major as well. Yes. Go PCOM, represent. Go PCOM. Yeah. Um, I've been working here for about a year now. I think I probably put in my application here about a year ago. Mm-hmm. So one year of your pop. Yay. Awesome. Okay, cool. And I understand that you are pretty connected to the music scene here. So I'm going to first ask, what are your musical inspirations? Who do you listen to the most? Um, my favorite band is definitely uh, Streetlight Manifesto. Mm-hmm. Um, really, can I swear? Yeah. Really shitty punk rock <laughs> band from Southern California. Um, ska band. I don't know if I said that. Awesome. Lots of horns involved. Um, and I also really love Frank Ocean. And I love his music. Not sure. What I know. Um, and I love Sabrina Carpenter. Wow. Represent. Sabrina. Just saw her at the Short and Sweet Tour. Awesome. Um, cried a whole bunch. Those are definitely like my favorite artists, I think. I also really love The Lumineers um, cool. and Belle and Sebastian. Awesome. I would say that those are my top five. Awesome. Good to know. And when you are checking out the customer, Customers here, what are customers buying? What's the Burlington scene like? Um, Taylor Swift, Noah Khan, um, I would say lots of Boy Genius, yep. and 
Boy Genius also yep. saw them. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else am I missing. I think that's good. Yeah, a lot of like the indie stuff, yeah. um, Big Thief, Adrian Linker stuff oh, like that. Oh yeah, Big Thief, Adrian mm-hmm. Linker, lots yeah. of those. I feel like I'm missing something. Like oh, like like Fish, Grateful Dead, like Fish the obvious for, ones. Yes. But that's more of like I feel like that's nowadays yes. more adults than it is mm-hmm. college aged kids. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So working in a record store that has been here so long, I would definitely say you're a staple of the Burlington music community. Do you agree? And if so, how does this place help build community? I definitely feel like this place does build a musical community Mm -hmm. and like we we have um uh local artists uh records and cds and cassettes in store Mm -hmm. and we don't take a profit from that we're just like a place to for them to sell their music yeah um we used to do like in shop little performances um it's a little too small in here to do that now i think Mm -hmm. or we'd have to like do some prepping but did a lot of that we have a a bulletin board where we post a bunch of um posters for concerts and shows and gigs and blah 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 yeah so i don't know and we've just been here for so long and uh, people come in yeah and are like oh my gosh you guys are still here like i came here when i was a teenager in you know the 90s or the 80s and it's just like it brings a lot of joy and kind of oh my god awesome so that was my last question but i know you yourself are in a band so i'm just gonna give you a chance to plug yourself for our viewers Hey, um, I'm in a band. Our band is called Typhoid Mary. Mm-hmm. Um, we are like an indie rock band with some elements of horns. We have a fun little horn line. Um, and yeah, we write music, our own music, and we awesome. should hopefully have a show soon, so keep an eye out. Awesome. And um, yeah, more Typhoid Mary originals cool. to come. And also, guess who's also in Typhoid Mary? Soon to be interviewed Hazel. Soon to be interviewed Hazel. Awesome. And do you guys have an Instagram? We do. Typhoid Mary the Band on Instagram. Very simple, very easy. Um, All right. Awesome. Well, it was great talking to you, Alex, and I'm sure I'll see you around. All right. Awesome. So now I am here with Hazel. Hi, Hazel. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good. So Hazel is another Pure Pop employee. So first, can you introduce yourself? How long have you been working here? Where are you from? What's your story? Yeah, I'm Hazel. Um, I've been working here since... Um, like a year and a half, so I think January 2023 is when I started. So almost two years, I wow. I know. Um, and I'm from Vermont. I am. I grew up in Fairfield, it's a really tiny little rural town. Um, and then I went to UVM for music ed and recently graduated. Yay! And now I work as a music teacher. Um, and then I work here and I also work as a music photographer for local underground bands. Wow, so it sounds like you might like music just a little bit. Maybe a little Maybe bit. just a little bit. So my first question about music is, who are your favorite bands, favorite artists, musical inspirations? Well, luckily, we're right here in my favorite section. Um, my favorite <laughs> band is the Smiths. Smiths. Um, huge fan. Top 0.005% of Smiths listeners two years in a row. Um, I've got a Smiths tattoo. I also, I love all sorts of music. Um, I love jazz. I love ska. I love classic rock. I love awesome. just pretty much everything you can throw at me. Um, yeah. All right. Awesome. So being an employee here, I'm sure you also um, see all the stuff that people buy. So what are the top artists that people buy here? It's a lot of pop. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of Taylor Swift, a lot of, um, you know, Boy Genius, Mm -hmm. a lot of Boy Genius pop. No. Yeah. That's not pop. (laughs) Um, Okay. And do you think this is reflective of like the Burlington musical communities, like taste in music, the people like that come in here? I would say so. Mm -hmm. When I was at UVM, um, a lot of the other students that I would meet would be into this kind of music and Mm -hmm. they would talk about it all the time. And, you know, so it's, we get a lot of UVM students in here and that's most of the, the crowd that... Okay, buying cool. records right now. All right, so. awesome. Yeah. Um, so since Pure Pop has been here for so long, 45 years next year, do you think that this is a staple in like the Burlington music community scene? And if so, like how does it build community? I think so. Um, I think it's a it's a really cool place that's been here for so long, and we'll get mm-hmm. customers who are start coming here when they were um, in their teens and they'll come back and yeah. they'll you know reminisce about that and we also get college kids in here like I was saying before and not only is it a really cool, cool place to find music mm-hmm. find new music um, it's also like you'll you'll come in here and you'll be browsing through a section and you might meet someone who likes the same music yeah. and I actually made some friends that way before I started working here so that's kind of cool very awesome very awesome and I understand that you are also in the same band as Alex so do you want to plug that and also plug your music photography um, I'm in Typhoid Mary, the band. Yay. I play saxophone and clarinet and sometimes trombone, sometimes electric bass. Um, and 
I'm plugging my photography. I take photos. Um, Very awesome photos. Dirty photo on Dirty Dot Photo on Instagram. Um, and I just recently took photos for this really awesome band called Jimmy's Chicken Shack, as you see on the shirt. Yes, and also Everclear. And also Everclear and Marcy awesome. Playground. So if you have a band and you want a picture reach out to her she knows everything music she's super awesome this was hazel so great to talk to you and i'm sure i'll see you around all righty all right so that was a brief snapshot into the lovely lovely pure prop we are located on south minuski ave in downtown burlington right off church street we are the home of underground prices you can find records cassettes cds here anything your musical heart might desire pure pop is the best place ever and definitely come check it out if you're watching this back to you in the studio charlotte Springfest is an annual outdoor concert at UVM. They have previously featured many amazing artists. Reporters Claire and Julia are on campus asking UVM students which artists they would want to be featured in the next event. Thoughts on this? Wow. Are there any artists you want to see come to campus? Noah Khan. <laughs> Biggest Noah Khan fan right here. Noah Khan, if you see this, Chloe Elcourt loves you. It's very true. I'm trying to think of anyone else I would love to see on campus. Probably like unattainable people. Chapel Roan. Chapel Roan. Um, I mean, a dream would be Chapel Roan, honestly. Yes. Like Spring Fest, she should get on that. Watch House. Watch House. If you hear this UVM program board, bring Watch House for Will. Please. Please. Please do it. They're amazing. I want Zach Fox to come to UVM. Zach Fox, come to UVM. I do really want to see Laundry Day. I feel like oh, they'd be a fun yes. pick for campus. I really like niche people, and I think Adam Melcher would really fit the vibe of Fall or Spring Fest at UVM. Dominic Fike. Maybe Labyrinth. Well, I love Dijon. I love Claro. I love... Dijon Claro, bring a tour here, please! I think Camp would be a pretty cool uh, a band to see yeah. here. This one they had Playboy Cardi in 2017, oh, okay, so I, I want him back. Okay, Playboy Cardi, please come back for Nate and for me. Okay. And, and Moose in the Cut, I want okay. him back. Post Malone, <laughs> please post. Post Malone, if you see this, Clara and Rebecca please, say, please come please to UVM. Post we love you. You're Malone, biggest fans. You. Please, your biggest fans. Please, please, please. For people that I want to come, I think we would have to revive them from the dead okay. or they just would not come to UVM. Okay. But yeah. Very fair. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Logan. It was great to meet you and talk with you today. And go vote. Of course, go vote. go vote. This week in Burlington, head over to Shelburne Vineyard for the Wine and Story event on Tuesday. On Thursday, Roman Ohm is hosting Yoga in the Orchard at Chapin. Finally, Friday through Sunday, don't miss the Champlain Valley Craft Show presented by Castleberry Fairs and Festivals. Thank you for watching Burlington Buzz and see you next Monday.